thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and get into it. Stop. Stop. Damn. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cops ain't gonna believe this shit. voted for Donald Trump I will never not know that about you and that's something we'll both have to live with we don't care let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care I will be leaving the country and my dad will be staying blocked after this election see you never fuck this bye bitch <laughs> Break, right? Like, like we're just gonna wake up tomorrow morning and everything's gonna go back to the way it, like it'll all, it'll be a psych. It'll be like a really bad dream, and none of this will have ever happen, right? Like it'll be like the first time, and then we're all gonna pull through fine in four years, correct? Mm -hmm. Please, someone tell me. I can tell you one thing right now: marriage is the farthest thing from on the table currently. So they really they screwed the pooch on that one if they thought that any of this was going to actually help with the whole family and kids department and and lowering birth rates because that no nah, not -uh, not even any semblance of thoughts I had or hope for that is completely going to be a no thanks for me love. Do you think I would ever even dare bring a child into this country now? It was rough before. Now? No. That's cute. And the men, don't even give me, no, don't even get me started about dating. To think, I was still entertaining a few moderates here and there sometimes. No, honey, no. Not even close. That's never goodbye. No, I'm about to say something. And some of y'all are going to get real mad at me, but honestly, at this point, I really just don't care. Um, I genuinely hope an asteroid hits uh the united states of america i have given up on humanity in this country i think it'd be better if honestly if we were just all gone i think we should just have another like mass extinction i think that would really solve everybody's problems because <laughs> i i you want the whole world to blow up i just kind of am done i don't think we people some people just can't come back from this bro I think we just need to start over. Just wipe it out, start over. That's how God would do it. That's how God would do it, just saying. Me and my family are leaving. Um, just talked to my mom about it. We're we're leaving. We're seeking an asylum somewhere else. But I just want to say oh. this. In the states where the votes mattered the most, 69% of white women in Pennsylvania voted for Donald Trump. <clears throat> And then I believe it was like 67 or 68 percent of white women voted for Donald Trump in like Michigan and all the other swing states where it really mattered. White women came in, turned up for Donald Trump. Black people hear me and hear me well. This is not going to work out for us. It's not. I'm leaving. I'm not staying for the handmaid's tale. I'm not. And not only that, our rights are gone as we know it. So... Donald Trump literally said he wanted to take it back to a time specifically where black people's votes didn't matter. Did he say that? He didn't they say even that. tried to take that shit to the Supreme Court and try to get Kamala removed from the race. Oh, well, Kamala, you know, she she should have helped me with my, my child support. How, how, well, you know, hey, she didn't win. Congratulations on that part. But you do understand that with no abortion rights... You about to be the pappy. So, you know what? If this is what y'all wanted, I'm happy for you, America. I'm happy that y'all got the results that y'all wanted since he won the way that he won. I'm happy y'all got what y'all wanted. But I am leaving. You know what they say. If you don't like it, you can leave. And baby, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me. I was just walking down the street to go get my medication because I'm out and I need it. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know about financial situation, but you know how much it costs to uproot your family to another country? This shit is expensive. For today, and I saw a woman walking her two kids, and she had this look on her face. And I looked at her, we made eye contact, and we both kind of nodded. 
sound like we were both just devastated and you could just tell in her in her eyes I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> I just texted my best friend. My best friend of 14 years. Literally half of my life. I'm 28. And I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? People really crying about this shit? And it's, just, it's just some, it's people trying to get views, trying to make themselves cry. People ain't, do you care that much? Half of my life. Oh, Jesus Christ. This person is my best friend. I don't even think you fucking assholes realize what you did. Now because you elected Trump in office, I gotta go and spend fucking less for gas, less at groceries, have a savings account that my kids can actually be proud of. We could actually do something with it. I don't know. Maybe like a vacation to Florida or something. Who knows? Now I gotta get used to a strong economy, secure borders, no new wars. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Make America great again. It is not over for Kamala. And all of you celebrating a Trump victory before the votes or even fully counted, may I remind you that a lot can change at the last minute. Mm -hmm. And even if we do fail to win the presidency for Kamala, after all the work I've done for white dudes for Kamala over the last few months, we will return in 2028. Kamala 2028 will be the greatest political comeback the world has ever seen, not just America, but the world. And I firmly believe that Kamala is still the best person in the whole of the United States to be the president of this country. And if we band together now, if we pull back some of those white dudes who went for Trump this time, by growing the white dudes for Harris campaign, we can make a permanent change. We can put, a, put the MAGA crowd away once and for all. <laughs> and I'm dispirited. I am dispirited by what has happened, oh, but we can't just hey, give up. Tears even coming down. We can't just stop now. It's so close. It was so close. I can't watch these people trying to make themselves cry on camera to get views. This is pathetic. This is crazy. Um, none of it. You don't get any of it. Um, you have uh, directly infringed upon the rights of people that I love, people that I care about. Um, you know, you have infringed upon the rights of people that I don't even know. Um, and this election has really shown that American values do not align with my values um, as a person, as a human, um, as a social worker, as, um, you know, someone who actually cares about other people. Um, so, you know, if you find yourself as you were one that voted for, you know, the Republican Party, um, no, thank you. What is wrong with you? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm literally sick. I'm literally sick to my stomach. What has happened to America? What has happened to democracy? What has happened to freedom? I'm done. I'm, I'm, this is a message to anyone who follows me. If you voted for Trump, unfollow me and block me. If you didn't vote, unfollow me and block me. The fact that it's this close means I've lost all hope in the American people. Like, it should not be this close. Why would anyone vote for this person? He's so evil. He's so demented. I, Kamala's not perfect. We all know that. We all know that. 
She is not a convicted felon, rapist, crazy, fascist, dictator, psycho. I think it's so ironic how liberal women and women who voted for Kamala are saying that for the next four years, they're not going to sleep with another man. I find it so ironic because at least then you won't need an abortion. It took you Donald Trump to get in office for you to stop being a whore. See, things are already starting to change for the better. Damn! Oh, shit. Emotional, damn it! This is not okay. This is not okay. This, 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 this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking, this is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they're wrong. And you're wrong. And everything is wrong. And this house is not even my house. You just bought it for me and I don't want it. I think the hardest part of all of this is just like thinking about all the men who were just like the economy, woman in my life. The economy, woman in my life. The economy. <laughs> Another NBC News exit poll in Wisconsin suggesting this Dasha Burns of NBC News suggesting that Trump has doubled his black support in Wisconsin. Wow. Trump is polling apparently about 20 percent of the black vote versus 78 percent for Kamala Harris. Four years ago, he won eight percent of black voters in Wisconsin. I mean, you're, you're, looking, at, you're looking at identity realignment yes. happening in yes. real time in this That's election right. cycle. It's well. That didn't go the way we had hoped. Not at all. Or expected. Yeah, I mean, for him to win the popular vote? Wow. Are you kidding me? I did not know our country was that full of racist bastards. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You didn't know that? <laughs> it, it's going to be an all-out war on the LGBTQ+, plus, on... This is the the uh, headquarters. This is the, the, the headquarters of racism in America. Women. Our, on women, on people of any color other than Blanco <laughs> or Blanca or whatever. Um, no, they don't care about the Blanca. Super Blanco. Who is Blanca? Yeah, so uh, better go out there and get you a Bible because you're going to be needing that shit now. <laughs> oh, no, we... Uh, you know, if they follow the Handmaid's Tale, we can't read. Oh, that's right. That is true. I'm too old to, I can't be a handmaid. Um, I would probably get stuck being a Martha. Um, oh, Lord. Actually, no, I'd be on the wall because I ain't going, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'll be on the wall. Um, I, I am These are the LGBT so very saddened for our country. Yes. And what that orange Donny Two Scoop baboon ass has done to our country with the division, the open racist, hateful comments, and just giving permission for them to be jackasses and flannel wearing, mouth breathing, baboon, mindless assholes. I'm sorry, I'm a little heated. Yes, yes. So today, I, I've decided that today I am sad. And <laughs> tomorrow I am going to find how do we stop him from doing the things. White people funny. So I want to say that today I am sad. <laughs> That's funny. The thumbs up button, guys. That thumbs up button. President, and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years. Oh. In protest and protection of your bodies. As we know, if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're fucked and you're going to die. I think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex. Don't about? you agree? This vote wasn't a vote for Americans. This vote was for men. And unless we want to become the... Who are having sex with this chick here? Well, dudes will bang, bang anything. So is somebody probably knocking it down? Handmaid's Tale, then us women need to protest because this is some buttery bullshit. I'm sorry to the women and minorities who aren't going to get the help that they need in the next four years. I'm sorry for the people who are impoverished who are just going to keep dying from starvation and lack of health care and lack of governmental support. People are actually praising this guy and it's a freaking joke. 
Look at the states he wants. You won't catch me there. You'll catch me in New York City. And I'm sorry to all the women who are going to suffer in these. Oh, so she won California. Okay. I don't feel so bad for not voting. Okay, so she won California. I feel kind of bad after I didn't vote. Hit the thumbs up button. Bumpkin ass, small ass little towns because of this. Reason why I'm a New Yorker and always will be. Fuck Florida. I just, <laughs> I voted. Oh, had to be Florida. Yeah. And um, it was weird. Because they wouldn't let me leave unless I voted, and it wouldn't let me select Trump. No way. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm literally telling you, like, I just voted Kamala. You don't vote for anybody if you're gonna vote for that piss ass cunt. Ooh. They, but the thing is, they wouldn't let me leave, and I was, I was literally sitting there, like, in the booth. It's the law. They would have to let you leave. That's ridiculous. That's what are you ridiculous. About? You can't. Don't even tell me that. I can't. I won't even accept that. I'm sorry. Was something wrong with the machine? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just won. fucking around. I'm just fucking around. He's, I mean, he still won. It's not like he, you know, he lost. He won. I can see if he lost and then your son said that he voted for Kamala. And then he, of course, his mom is a Trump supporter. But, um, yeah. I don't know what to say about it, man. It's uh, first of all, I think Obama already said he's not getting rid of the health care thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I think he said that if he did, he was going to make it where um, people are going to be make more, making a lot more money where they could actually pay for it. Um, but yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's, I mean, just, you gotta do. You gotta do for yourself. The your president doesn't matter. You gotta do, make change in your life. If you want things to change, you know what I'm saying. That's what I think. Um, but anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the Poor Man's Podcast. Hit the thumbs up button.